Right, yeah, we are here in Tamworth, and um, get to know with Josh Gibson. Firstly, hello. Hi, no, man. Good. Um, been here for a few days, and we, I suppose, we've held off on doing it, doing one of these interviews. Um, this is a massive show. There's so much going on. Um, one, from a cutting horse point of view, you must love this. These sort of days. Yeah. Look. Um, these are awesome, you know, especially with our brand and what we do, um, you know, being a joint supplement for horses in all industries. Um, these big sale events are awesome and, and they do a really fantastic job here at ALIC. I know we've been here for a few days now and you see the amount of horses they've got here, the amount of infrastructure they need, the amount of people they're dealing with and it, uh, it runs super smoothly. I'm a Triton bloke, you're, you know, most people say you're a footy bloke, but I mean you've cha changed now. But it is something, it wouldn't be on a lot of people's holidays destination to come to, but any horse lover really needs to come here for a few days and just experience it. Because the people here are just sensational. The place is so so great, it's so, so much fun, isn't it? No, it is. I, uh, I first came in 2020. Um, wow. And I, uh, I wasn't know, I didn't know what to expect. And uh, as you said, I was blown away by um, the way that it's run, just how good a spectacle it is. Um, you know, especially over the, the weekend, like it is now, when you start getting the locals coming in, they're not, you know, necessarily the people here buying and selling horses, but just want to come and see the show and see the sale ring and, and everything that goes with it. So it is a place that people should come visit, even if you're not the biggest horsey lover. Oh, you don't want to buy one or sell one, you should still come because it's pretty special what they're doing. Be careful if you're borderline on buying one or the bride's borderline on buying one because you might walk out broke because it does get a bit scary sometimes. Yeah, yeah, probably bring a float because there's a good chance you'll be driving home with something in it. I've got a, I've got a friend that uh, lives very close to you in Ballarat. He's bought three with no float. So, oh, okay. yeah, so he's Well, I'm not taking them home for him. <laughs> um, it is business as well. And one thing, like the one thing I like about here, people dress up, you've got your badge on you. I've got Nutrient on me. I have Nutrient all the time and all the rest. And I think it's a way of the future, especially for horse racing and, and, and harness racing, which I'm a part of. And, mm. and I'm going to touch on a little bit what you got with Ballarat the other day. But the badging and branding, when you come to an event like this, it is so important. So many people get it, they embrace it, they yeah. understand it. Like they, we look a bit like NASCAR drivers, yeah. but it's a way of getting the products out there. Yeah, look, we're, we're pretty lucky at Foresight. We've got a, a, a great group of riders that we sponsor and, you know, having them have their logos um, on our, on, uh, having our logos on their shirts, sorry, is priceless. You know, you look at Hugh Miles had they, uh, the biggest seller at 260,000 and he's someone we sponsor, you yeah. know, so that, I think that went on ABC News and all that type of stuff and we've got our logo on his shirt. So it is a, it is a great branding exercise for us. It was funny, I was on a plane flying up and Jane O'Dell was on my flight and I was sitting over here and, and she was over here and she goes, the fella next to me saw that logo on the back of your shirt and then I saw him start Googling what the brand was, you know, yeah. so it does work um, and yeah, it's, it's really important for us and it's, it's a great part of these cow horse sports that, you know, they allow them to have all your, all your stickers all over their clothing. We're talking about um, NASCAR and all the rest, from football, football embraces, though, don't they? Like when you used to play for Hawthorne, I mean, you, you, have, you have to do a, an interview, you had to have the right shirts on and everything else like that. Mm. And as you just said then, to get it out there, to make the horse world smaller, get more people to embrace it, is to actually wear, wear it and wear it with pride. As far as the sponsor goes, though, when you sponsor people, they've got to realise what they're actually doing, present well, wear it well, in case if they're on the plane, the shirt's all crinkled up and everything else, they say, well, shit, what's this company? You know, don't want to have a part of that. So yeah. there's a two-way street with the sponsored riders, isn't it? It is, and I guess one thing that I've sort of learned over those 13 years of playing footy is how to deal in that world, and, and you know, that's something I'm really trying to bring to our team, yep. um, that you're always on show, yep. you know, so you, you do have to be, you have to be careful. <laughs> You know, you could be doing the wrong thing and someone sees your your brands on there and, and you know, they they get a little bit upset. So it is a it's a unique thing for some of these guys, but the world that we live in now with social media and you know, scanning QR codes to get access to footage and YouTubes and all these type of things, it's pivotal that, you know, you're showing off your brands and and I think the more the more people that have embraced it here, it's it's really helped this sport go to another level and and you know that's why you're getting such big companies now looking to endorse it because there's such good media opportunities yeah you know, the other backside for them absolutely and, and nutrient they embrace it incredibly well you'll just see nothing but green and white i mean you know i've got a black shirt on i'm about the other yeah, one yeah. out i mean everyone everyone here is even white shirts or green shirts and, and and that's part of part of it and they grow it um you guys have got signage down the front mm. um in the main arena with the sales arenas and things like that so they it's actually encouraged like people want to get those spots um last night with yeah. the cutout yeah. Um, you know, people wanted to get their signs there because it was sensational. That was, was great fun. You must have enjoyed that, did you? No, nah, it was sensational. You know, we were some of the sponsors were lucky enough to go up the top and have a have a bite to eat and, and have a couple of drinks and, and watching that was super. And as you said, it's it's a big thing for all the sponsors. You know, you talk about the nutrient guys. 
I think Ringers Western's done a fantastic job with them this year. I'm lucky enough you can see that they look after me as well. But you know, exactly right, your shirt, and, but all the staff here, like they're just dressed immaculately. Yep. And um, it just raises, I think, the level of everything. And that professionalism is, at, at the end of the day, that's what makes people hand their money over to, to buy good horses because everything here is a, a premium level. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to catch you when I saw you, because I mean, at Ballarat Cup was run two set days ago. Probably by the time this goes ahead, it'll be three set days ago, because today is Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, one, did you get to Ballarat? No, I was I was away. Um, Dan and Karina, my in-laws, yep. uh, who were the owners of Foresight, they were there. Yep. Um, I literally, I literally live down the road from Ballarat Trotting Club at the minute. We were waiting for a new house to be built. So it's my backyard, but look, we love, we love sponsoring uh, the trot, especially Ballarat. Um, it's a, it's a super important horse industry. You know what I mean? It's another one where horses are getting pushed to their limits, putting a lot of stress on their joints, and, and anything like that. We want to be a part of. And I heard it was a success for you there. No, I didn't. No, get, I didn't go. get there. Ralph, you didn't give me an invite. Oh god. He actually, he actually did. I've got, I've got to be careful because I had. Um, I actually had uh, commitments for, for <laughs> Nutrient. But the one thing I wanted to say, like Nutrient and Foresight come together uh, through um, the Ballarat um, District Trotting Club. I always get it in trouble. Who you call it? A harness club. Yeah, 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 yeah. He doesn't like it at all. But um, best presented. And I think that's it's actually great. It actually comes back to here, the, the fact that you've got a pack of Foresight, a uh, 500ml uh, packet and a hat yeah. from Nutrient. Yeah. But I don't think it's the last one that that'll happen, especially on the Ballarat Cup. But to, it, it certainly goes hand in hand with what you and I have been talking about, best presented lifting that bar, presenting ourselves, um, and people able to win packs and give back to the community. That's where it is so important. Yeah, look, it is, and, and for us, you know, we've got a product that is recommended by vets around Australia, but there's still a lot of people that don't know about what Foresight does, and, and we really love giving people samples, you know? Like, it's, we get inundated from people that are telling us stories about the pony they've had, that kids haven't been able to ride anymore, they've started on Foresight, and the thing's running around like it's a little cult, you know? Yeah. So. We love that, and, and that's what we want to do. It's we, we love animals, um, you know. And now we've, you know, not just horses. We're dogs and cats, and we've even got a human product. So we want to make everyone's joints as healthy as possible, and spread the word. And, and we love giving people products, as I said, and, and letting them fully understand what Foresight's all about. Anyone wants to come to my place, they we use it. There's no worries. I've been using it for five years, and it's not. This is not a gratuitous plug to get a free sample or nothing <laughs> like that. But we recommend it. People get a bit of a worry when they purchase it. They say about the price, the yeah. dose rate that you feed. You don't have to worry about it too that's much. That's right. I know you buy a litre bag, and it's you know it's just over that five hundred dollars, and they go, oh geez, that's quite expensive. But um, when you look at it, it ends up being like a dollar thirty a yep. day yep. you're spending, and you know that litre bag lasts you for two hundred and thirty odd days of the year. So yep. when you break it down like that, it's not that expensive. And and you know when you also think about the money that you're spending on these horses, uh, paying a dollar thirty a day to look after their joints isn't too bad. Um, I'm not going to do it because I've already had some people reference my hat about a bit of Brokeback Mountain, but you've got just this little piece. I know, I could see, <laughs> I could see this hair hanging off my beard and I was like, is it sun reflection or...? It ain't mine, so no. I don't know where it's come from, <laughs> we won't worry about no, that. No, no. <laughs> but it was, um, it was, it was annoying me eventually, I'm glad, I'm glad you got it. I could see it, I was like looking for it, glad. But, Josh, th anyway, thank you very much, Mike. I've enjoyed the chat. It's a bit of fun, but it's, it's also serious business here, and, uh, and I think that's part of it. Um, you're from a cutting point of view. This is a, dra a draft, but you actually, they both cross over. Yeah, so I'm probably more horses. drafting, to be honest. I like oh, yeah. the draft. Yeah, 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 yeah. I always yeah. you're the cut. No, I'm just starting to learn about the cutting, so I like I like the drafting. Right, yeah. so yeah. it's more, more fun, so it's a, it's a little bit of fun. Yeah. You'll be back next year? Definitely, we'll be back next year. We want to, you know, I've already been speaking to the guys here at Nutrien, and we want to really get behind it more and, and take it to the next level and um, we think we can do that um, especially with you know all these COVID situations starting to ease down it's been tough the last couple yeah. of years you know like you're trying to put things in place and, and the goalposts keep moving but hopefully by next year all that type of stuff's just squashed and we're on top of it and you know we can plan to have a really successful partnership with Nutrien. No, good as gold well, Josh thank you very much thanks well, for everything you guys are doing for Foresight from a harness point of view thank you for sponsoring at Ballarat I, I don't think you know sometimes sponsors get missed a little bit but um I think, it, I think it was great. Well done to Rousey. Rousey will like it. He's getting, about Thanks, four or five, he's getting about four or five free plugs. He'll want one of these hats. No, don't worry about exactly that. Right. You're not getting one, Rousey. Don't worry about <laughs> that. But it's all good. Thanks very much, mate. Thanks, mate.